Hey guys, Brian Schultz here with Cape Falcon Kayak and I thought I'd do something a little bit crazy this time. Instead of me just standing in the boat building studio and talking endlessly about building boats, I figured I'd bring you guys out on the water and show you a little bit of the testing that we do here. Today, I'm actually out on the Columbia River and I'm testing the hybrid canoe and kayak pop-up sail system. Now, I know this system works really well on my canoes because I've been using it on the canoes for about three or four years, but I'm trying to make this versatile enough so I can put it on my kayaks as well. The wind has died down a little bit. I've been testing a couple different sail rigs over the last couple days. A couple days ago, I was out in the F1 kayak. Now, my first impression using this sail rig on an F1 kayak was that it was just a little bit too squirrely. It wasn't very directionally stable, and I had to have a lot more input from the paddle than I wanted to to be able to feel comfortable. Now, today I'm out here on the Columbia in the uh, LPV, and it actually seems a lot more directionally stable. I started out with a one square meter sail, and that was getting really twitchy. I was constantly having to brace to keep from getting knocked over. But now I've got a 0.8 square meter laminate sail up on the rig right now, and it's running really well. It's still a little bit twitchy in the gusts, but it's definitely manageable. And when it really gets blowing behind me, it's giving me a really nice push. Now, anytime we're talking about a sail in conjunction with a kayak, you're talking about really increasing the propulsion, but definitely increasing the risks as well. So it's super important that if you're gonna experiment with this, you have really solid rescue and rolling and recovery skills, because all those things get a lot harder when you get sails involved and they become a lot more likely to actually happen. So yesterday I was out, we did some rolling practice with the sail. That was actually really informative for me, just things that I need to know about if I go over myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock myself over as if I just gotten hit by the wind. That's not necessarily the thing you want to have happen, but it's the thing that's going to happen. If you practice it, you can roll with a sail just like you can roll without a sail. It just takes better technique and it definitely takes a little bit more power. And if the sail is close hauled, you've got to release the sheet as well before you can roll up. So anyways, this is a little preview of something I'm working on. I probably got another three or four months of sail testing to go before I put this up as an independent sail building course on the website. Right now, a similar sail design is already included in my canoe building course. I just have to really feel it performing the way I want it to before I'm willing to really give it the green light for my kayaks. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You can also check us out on our website, capefalconkayak.com, where I've got a bunch more skin on grip building videos and clamp sets and a whole bunch of different skin off and resources and you can find us on instagram at cape falcon builds where we post daily images and text of everything we do here on the website including time lapse videos all right take care be safe on the water and have fun building your skin boat